Hossam Hamdi, Professor of Surgery and the Vice Chancellor for the Medical Colleges and Health Colleges, University of Sharjah. I would like to welcome you in this marvelous place for training, for surgical training and health professional uh, training and development. The SSI, Sharjah Surgical Institute, is one of the leading institute in surgical training uh, in the Middle East and perhaps beyond that. We are very honored that this it reflects a, the collaboration between University of Sharjah, Ministry of Health, United Emirates and leading uh, industry in healthcare delivery, Johnson Johnson and Olympus. We have the full support and the collaboration with the European Surgical Institute in Hamburg. I'm going to take you through a tour of the different activities and different uh, uh, training which takes place in this uh, center. Simulated patients are very valuable uh, colleagues and they have a, a very important contribution uh, in the training of the uh, health professionals. The Sharjah Surgical Institute main mission and vision is to train surgeons, health professionals, on all the advances in surgical technology and surgical techniques. The ultimate purpose is the improvement of the healthcare and patient safety. I will take you now through a tour of the Sharjah Surgical Institute. As in any surgical room and surgical suite, the participants will come into the center, they will change in these changing rooms. The training usually goes through uh, different phases so and, depend, and it depends on the experience of the participants and the trainees. This advanced uh, computer-based training uh, simulators uh, they have the most advanced software with haptic uh, technology and software of the different operations. So depending on the course, from bariatric laparoscopic training to uh, basic laparoscopic training to, to uh, reflux and fundoplication. So, it depends on the nature of the training, but it is important to reach a level of competency in uh, laparoscopic before laparoscopic skills before moving to the next phase. The dry lab is a an important area for the training, for laparoscopic training. Uh, it usually the trainees start the training uh, on the basic laparoscopic skills. And even for advanced, those with advanced experience in laparoscopic surgery, sometimes they need to sharpen uh, their training techniques, 
the intracorporeal suturing and other techniques. So this is an important phase of the laparoscopic training, whether basic or even advanced. This is the workshop uh, area where uh, lectures are given, uh, working in small groups, and uh, briefing and debriefing uh, and feedback about the training takes place. Uh, this is the area where there are going to be cadaveric operations. Uh, soon we'll start uh, doing operation on joints, on uh, ear surgery, on uh, neuro and cranial type of surgery. Uh, it has a very specific function and it complements the type of training we provided at the Sharjah Surgical Institute. The Sharjah Surgical Training uh, center and the clinical training center, uh, they have a, a very warm environment uh, which allows the trainees to relax between the intense uh, training sessions and uh, we think this is uh, very important to create this welcoming environment which we have it in the center. I'm coming from the European Surgical Institute in Hamburg in Germany and I'm really proud to take part in this project. Um, so me and my colleagues, we were supporting um, this institute from the beginning. So we have been here several times, starting developing the setting of the laboratories, of the animal lab and everything. So by now, uh, we are back for the first course and I think it's a really, really big success. Um, they have built, they created a beautiful institute, uh, fantastic uh, employees and great equipment. So I think uh, for the future it will be a fantastic place to learn and train uh, surgical procedures. At Johnson & Johnson we believe that our first responsibility is to the surgeons, nurses and healthcare professionals we work with on a daily basis who they try so hard to improve their quali the quality of life of their patients. This is why we ventured with the United Arab Emirates Ministry of Health with the University of Sharjah and with Olympus Medical in order to create the state-of-the-art training center, trying so hard to support our surgeons across, from across the region in order to improve and sustain the quality of care that they deliver to their patients. The training center offers a perfect facility for developing techniques, training techniques, uh, trained surgeons and uh, it provides uh, patient safety and is an absolute necessity in uh, the actual uh, training and uh, working with surgeons at this uh, perfect place called the Shasha Surgical Training Center.